Lewison said he was stunned after the script for the season 3 finale landed in his inbox, skipping straight to the end and discovering how the series wrapped up. He swiftly texted he co-star Maitreyi Ramakrishnan, saying, I was like, oh my god, you're not going to believe this, who told him to go back to the start and read the whole script through first. The American actor, 21, said, we talked about it afterwards and I think we were both just really excited. Ben and Debbie don't really have the opportunity to have those moments or tons them, so I think we were both just really just about being able to propel them into more of an adult friendship slash relationship, whatever that ends up being. Obviously, I know what happens in season 4, I wish I could tell you but I can't. So it will be interesting for fans to see how they navigate the aftermath what may or may not have just happened. I think that we've seen them grow. Like every character in Never Have I Ever, we've seen them go through these trials and tribulations and lean on each other oftentimes, especially in some of the darker moments. I think that Foundation, even though they do hurl insults at each other at times, I think the Foundation is one of genuine caring and kindness. He added, so, I wasn't really surprised when I read the ending because I was like, okay, Devi has gone through a lot. Now with this free boink, spoiler alert, she's coming to Ben's house and the ending for season 3 makes a lot of sense to me. On filming the scene, Lewison revealed there were a couple of options for how the moment would play out, much like any scene in a TV show. He said, we did like three different endings and I did not know which one they were going to choose. Lewison went on to explain never have I ever as creators Mindy Kaling and Lang Fisher had a vision for what they wanted from the scene and what felt right tonally hailing the creatives as masters for hitting the right note. He explained, W. Hin we were shooting that particular version, like that one was extra spicy. Lang always says like chef's kiss and I vaguely remember her saying that for that particular ending. And you know, you can feel it sometimes when you're in the scene, like that feels right. It feels right for these two characters because we've gotten so attached to them and we know them so well and being able to have different versions in different ways that we were able to shoot it, it gives you a lot of exploration and ability to play through those moments and figure out what feels right. However, he remained tight-lipped on whether one of the alternative endings which ended up on the cutting room floor featured Ben and Evie kissing. Teasing, don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Compared to many of other Ben and Evie scenes, the final moment of season 3 featured very little dialogue between the two with Lewis and saying one of his favorite things about the scene was it was an unspoken moment between Ben and Devi, who are often loud and brash. This moment was a stark contrast for these two characters and Lewis and praising Ramakrishnan for saying so much with just her eyes, that allows Devi to be so expressive and to convey so much without speaking. From Ben's perspective, he knew exactly what Devi was saying to him without the need for words. Lewison said, it's almost as if they're doing this dance, saying like, are you sure? This is what you want to do? And she's like, I don't know, what do you think? And then Ben's sort of like, come here and then that door shuts. The star wouldn't be drawn beyond the door closing but suggested Ben and Devi could end up deciding not to do the deed and simply having a conversation, or they could sleep together and then have to navigate their relationship going forward. It's very interesting. It can go both ways. 
Lewison has been following all the online speculation with Never Have I Ever's devoted fan base coming up with fan fiction and lots of guessing about what would happen next, admitting Devi's mother Nolini Vishwakumar, Porna Jagannathan, walking in on her and then being a frontrunner among the theories. With Netflix yet to share a release date for season 4, which is the final outing, fans will be waiting with bated breath to see what happens next between the pair. Seasons 3 and 4 were shot consecutively with the cast trapping on the final outing earlier this year and the last day on set proving to be an emotional one for Lewison, who said he was filled with overwhelming pride and gratitude. Truthfully, I don't think I've fully processed the fact that it's fully over. Adding, it was such a profound experience that changed my entire life.